Hi, welcome back to Christine's Home Affairs. I've just got a quick repair video for you today. I've got a customer who needs a couple of pairs of pyjama pants, have her elastic replaced in them. She's going into hospital next week and doesn't want them falling down around her ankles. I wouldn't want that either. So stick around, I will show you how to easily um, save these pyjama pants and put in a new elastic, take out the old one, put a new one in and then they'll be right to go for a few more years. Now I have the elastic already cut to size for the customer so with pants you want to get a non-roll elastic. This one is um, an elastic that helps prevent the, the waistband from rolling over whereas this is just a soft braided elastic and you can see how easily that folds over. So a non-roll elastic is much better around the waist on your garments. It's got a little bit more support there. Now we have to get the old waistband off. This one's actually quite easy. All it is is the elastic attached to an overlocked edge and secured down on the corner of the side on each of the side seams. So I just need to go and unpick this and then I will put the next elastic on. Now, overlocked stitching is actually a pain to um, undo. And because this is only a really narrow overlocked edge, I'm actually just going to cut it and then redo it. So all I've got is just the width of the overlocked stitching just in there, which is probably only about less than quarter of an inch or, or five mil. So I'm just going to cut this straight off and rather than overlocking it, I'm going to stitch it on with a machine. So, And that's just to show you how easy it is to actually put the elastic on. I will go and overlock this later on. So I can throw out the old elastic, that's no good anymore, and we'll get the other one ready to insert. Now before we put the elastic into the pants, we need to close it up. So just lay two layers over the top of each other and allow probably about two centimetres or three quarters of an inch overlap just like that. And we're going to sew it just in it in a kind of a zigzag so we've got a or a box it doesn't really matter as long as you secure it so I might just do a box and zigzag it like that it's going to be difficult for you to see it um, on this because I'm using a white thread so just overlap overlap your fabric or your elastic and start sewing So the elastic here isn't going to go anywhere. Now we're ready to go and put this into our pants. The first thing we're going to do is find the centre point of our elastic. So fold it across like that, find your centre point, get your pins, mark that and again on the opposite end. and find where the pins meet here, find the fold and do the same at the opposite end. So there we go. We've got our elastic marked in quarters and we're now ready to put this into the back and front and the side seams. 
and I've intentionally left the join of the elastic away from those points because they're in, on seams. I don't want to add any extra bulk, so that will just be distributed around the back somewhere. So, find the back of your pants and just place the elastic over the top there and pin it in place. So there's the seam there and that's my centre back of the elastic. Come around, find the next seam and just bring the elastic around and pin that on top of the seam. So you can see the elastic's got to stretch quite a bit to be able to fit inside these pants. Keep coming around and make sure that the elastic isn't twisted as you're putting it down. Pin the next seam Okay, so we've got that pinned in place in all four seams and all we need to do is sew it down. So I'm just going to start from the centre back seam. Remember to remove your pins as you go around too. So Go to the next seam and just pull this and hold it taut and make sure you line up your fabric with the top of your zip uh, with the top of your elastic. And keep lining it up as you come around. So there we have the elastic inserted into just the quarter section of the pants. And when you get to the back seam again, just do a back stitch and that's it. So if you've got an overlocker, I would actually just go and overlock all of that together. If you don't, just go and do a zigzag on the edges and then we'll turn this over and secure the stitching down. So once you've overlocked the edge, fold the elastic over so that you can't actually see it and we'll just stretch that on, out on the side seam and just stitch that down close to the edge. And when you get to the end, just back stitch. So there we go. Um, ready to wear again another pair of pajama pants. Now these ones have actually been secured properly on the band and what they've also done is stitched it with a cover stitch machine so it's got two two rows of stitching just there this is a real pain to have to do and I usually don't like doing these jobs for customers but the lady's going into hospital and needs a pair of pants needs her pajama pants and it looks like these have been repaired at some stage as well in parts so the worst part of any of these alterations jobs is always the unpicking. The sewing doesn't take much time at all. The unpicking is what takes all the time and is the biggest cost to the customer most times. So 
so it looks like there's been elastic put in here twice. Okay, so that took a while. Um, I hate undoing cover stitching. It's always so time consuming. Sometimes you can be lucky and actually find the threads to pull apart and the whole lot will come out easily, but I wasn't very lucky this time. And found two bits of elastic in there. So somebody's gone and done a repair on these at some stage. And it's time for another one. So I'm going to cut off the elastic just like I did before because it's a lot quicker. So just very close to the edge of the elastic and just cutting off the overlocked stitches. So this one I'm probably only cutting off about three or four millimeters, an eighth of an inch or so. Okay, so that gets rid of the elastic. Now I might just repair the back of these pants quickly. Okay, so we'll do exactly the same thing with the elastic that we did earlier. Overlap the two pieces and we'll just do a box with a cross through it. So we'll find our intersecting or our end points. And then we can attach that to the centre back seam and all the other seams on the pants. And before you sew this down, just double check that you actually have your elastic sitting flat and that it's not twisted. Now, if you have an overlocker, you can actually skip the sewing machine and go straight to the overlocker, remove your cutting blades and just overlock the top edge together. Pull it taut and stitch it down with your overlocker. I'm doing this on the machine just in case you don't have an overlocker and all you can do is a zigzag. And again, if you've only got your machine, you can just zigzag this down. And backstitch when you get to the end. So I'm going to take this to the overlocker and just neaten up the edges before I fold this down and stitch it. Okay, we will finish up by folding the edge over twice, just like we did before. And job's done. Okay, second pair of pants are done. Now the host lady can go to hospital and lie in bed in comfort. Here are the pyjama pants with the elastic replaced in both of them. And I think the lady will be happy to know that she's not going to have them falling down around her ankles. So I uh, hope you've enjoyed this video. If there's anything else you'd like me to show you, any techniques for putting doing anything just let me know place a note in the comment section down below if you've enjoyed the video click and subscribe so you don't miss out on anything else that I might do catch you next time